Alright, I had a deal, KD5ENU. And uh, by the way, uh, before I get started with Ken here, I wanted to say, uh, you know, I haven't heard uh, Zulu John in uh, several weeks. I wonder what's going on there. That's uh, uh, NJ5 Zulu or N5, I never can remember. NJ5 Zulu, I think. Uh, has anyone heard from him? Uh, let me know if you, if you can. Uh, uh, type a message on the blue screen or check in and let me know. Uh, uh, any, anyway, what's going on, but uh, I was wondering what's going on with uh, Zulu John. All right, let's get started with Ken, uh, KB7DFP. Uh, Ken, you're up. Well, at least this time I'm not heading back to work after lunch, so I get to relax for the rest of the day. And uh, I heard some talk on the net a little earlier about 220 and how, you know, We've got a lot of people using it in some areas and in other areas not at all. But uh, I'm thinking about putting up a 220 repeater just just for the fun of it. I don't know if anybody will use it, but I, I'm already talking on a 220 node that I have uh, um, or that works around town. So I figured, eh, why not? Well, there you go, Ken. That's a good idea. I hope you can find some folks that will use it. Uh, maybe you might uh, check around with your club or whatever and uh, make sure there's some uh, uh, 220 radios out there locally that will use it. But it, it sounds great. I have a uh, 220 radio. I haven't even tried yet. I've got an antenna. Uh, I've got a swap antennas on it, and the antenna that I've used on it is uh, in my attic, and I haven't got a chance to swap it around. But uh, I, I do listen on 220 uh, quite often. <laughs> But I do have a radio now that will transmit, but I've got to get it swapped around. But anyway, Ken, it sounds good, like a good idea. Uh, uh, you never know how 220 is going to work uh, from one area to another. But uh, Virginia uses the heck out of uh, 220 over there. Uh, that group, uh, that club has a lot of 220 on it. So anyway, you never know, Ken. Go ahead. Yeah, that's what I figure, and sometimes maybe you got to be the guy that does it. So, I mean... I have a couple of friends that do have 220 radios that would possibly use it, and you know, you just gotta get it stirred up and stuff. And I, I figure I started testing it out with the 220 node, and I thought, well, why, why not? You know, I, <laughs> I can do it, and so well, I, I will probably do it. Anyway, I'll uh, turn it back to the net. Thanks for letting me check in. Uh, KB7 DFP Ken in Twin Falls. All right, good deal, Ken. Well, uh, uh, you know, good luck with your project there. I hope uh, I hope it goes well. I hope you get it uh, get it up in the air and uh, everything uh, works for you, and uh, you can get some activity on it. It'd be uh, be cool. All right, Ken. We'll talk to you later. KB seven DFP. This is K five AVF. We're going to talk to Grant next. Eighty five AFS. Grant, go ahead. K five AVF. KD5AFS, uh, good afternoon, Alex, and everybody else out there. Just want to check in on your ship and say hi. About the time you sent me that text with Rob's phone number, I remembered I printed off an email you sent out with all the NCO's contact information on it, and I stuck it in my in my file cabinet with my radio stuff, so I did have uh, Ron's phone number after all. He, he just said his radio's acting up. That, that's all that is wrong. So, you know, radio can be fixed or replaced. So, uh, anyhow, he's okay. Other than that, not a lot. Kind of a lazy day, enjoying the weather and uh, while it lasts. And I'm hoping we get some rain in the morning. I saw one, uh, one weather uh, report this morning. It said one to two inches. I'll believe that when I see it, but I uh, hope so. Anyhow, Alex just wanted to check in and say hi, not much going on here. So thank you for picking me up, and I will send it back to you, sir. 85 AFS. All right, Grant, yeah, thanks for checking in on Ron. And, yeah, I, you know, I need to update that uh, uh, phone list and send it out again. I don't know uh, when, when the last time I sent that out. I, in fact, I'd forgotten all about that looking there. I, I had Ron's phone number in my cell phone, so I looked it up there. But anyway, thanks, Grant, and thanks for uh, picking up the uh, second half of, uh, of the first hour today. And uh, thanks for uh, what you do out there. And uh, <laughs> good luck. With it. You know, I saw a, uh, a 
for uh, Sunday, it said 99% chance of rain. So I expect we're going to get a drop or two. Uh, you never know how much, but uh, <laughs> when they say 99%, that's a pretty good chance. Great. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later. K85 AFS. This is K5 ABF. We're going to clear with Grant and go talk to Jason. And after Jason, we're going to talk to Gil. Uh, WI7JT. Jason, go ahead. Good afternoon, Alex, and everyone on the net. We had a couple of just wonderful days. I don't think we got above 60 degrees. It was uh, overcast, lots of rain, even some fog. But uh, we enjoyed the heck out of that. Of course, it's now passing by. We're gonna, we're already up to 73, sunny. Going to get up to 75 today, though we have a chance for a lot of thunderstorms later. And uh, I think into the 80s tomorrow. So that little cold front is gone. I enjoyed the mess out of it, <laughs> and I guess you guys are starting to enjoy it, too. Not too much else going on up here. Say 7-3, and God bless all, and pass it back to WI7JT. All right, uh, Jason, very good. Yeah, those uh, storms that pop up like that, I think Johnny used to call them uh, popcorn uh, storms or something like that. But anyway, he had some kind of a popcorn name for them, but they just kind of pop up and then go away. But we're having, well, that's what we've got here. We were... So we've got some uh, uh, little spotty showers around Oklahoma, but uh, nothing to speak of. Anyway, uh, Jason, let's uh, we'll talk to you again. Uh, thanks for checking in, and uh, always good to hear from you in uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Uh, WY7JT, this is K5AVF. We're going to clear with Jason. Go talk to Gil, and then we'll take some more check-ins. Uh, KB5ENU, go ahead. Good afternoon. I was going to check in on the first hour, but I laid down, and uh, guess what? <laughs> oh, well, got up in time to get on this one anyway. So anyway, everything's doing fine here. Uh, just uh, one day at a time. I think there was a song of one day at a time, I believe. Uh, but anyway, I'm going through my uh, computer and seeing what's new in the world. <laughs> anyway, I'll get out of here and turn it back over to you so you can get some more in. Yeah, so uh, have a good day. Katie 5 and you back to that control. 7-3. Thank all right, Gil, fine business. Uh, uh, hey, you monitor the uh, uh, 09 repeater quite a bit. Uh, have you heard the Zulu John the last couple of weeks? Go ahead. No, I haven't. All right, well, uh, you know, I was just thinking yesterday about uh, uh, all the he's to genuinely uh, uh, give, uh, give me a lot of... Uh, uh, grief and uh, and uh, have some pretty good cracks and that kind of thing and uh, I haven't heard him and I've kind of missed it. <laughs> All right, Gail, take it easy. We'll talk to you again. You stay safe and uh, we'll talk to you again. I'm sure. Uh, to 85. Oh, by the way, I looked at your uh, uh, list. Uh, uh, you're just over 3,000 check-ins now. Did you know that, Gail? Ninety-seven. Uh, can you give me a, a number on on that? I can, Gil. Uh, uh, the uh, web page shows you have three zero zero five. That's three thousand and five, and that was as of yesterday. So this will be three three zero zero six as of right now. Go ahead. Three zero zero six. Yeah, not that far off. Uh, thank you, Katie Five E and you. All right, that's fine, Mrs. Gill. Uh, thanks for checking in. And anyone else that would like to know what the count is, uh, let me know when you uh, when you talk to me, and I'll give you the count. I can look it up here. I've got the roster up all the time. I use it all the time when I hear a, a partial call sign. I can type it in up here, and uh, it'll tell me uh, if there's something that matches it out there, so I can uh, find the call sign. Sometimes, if I don't hear all of it. Anyway, Gil, you take it easy. We'll talk to you later. K85 ENU, K5 ABF. We're at the bottom of the list. This is the N5 XQK Memorial Warner Burger Net. 
It's uh, 1335 uh, Central Time here, and we're looking for check-ins. If you'd like to check in, come back with your call. Hey, KC5JVT. KC5JVT. Good to see you in Eight, Bravo. Charlie Lima, Victor. Bobby, Main Spring. All right, I got uh, Butch, KC5, JBT. I have Dave, KAGB, and I have. Uh, uh, Sand Springs, uh, give me your call sign again. I, I missed it. I think I heard Charlie Lima. Uh, oh, that's not a char it was a Charlie Michael. Uh, give it to me again. Charlie Lima Victor. Right there. Charlie Lima Five. Try again, Kilo, Juliet, Five, Charlie, Lima, Victor, KJ5, CLV. All right, Bobby, you got me tickled. I'm, I'm the one that normally goes sideways on call signs. <laughs> uh, you were trying to make uh, Charlie, Lima, Victor into all kinds of things, weren't you? Uh, Bobby, uh, stand by. We'll talk to you in just a minute. Let's talk to Butch. KC5JVT, and then we'll talk to Dave after that. Uh, Butch, go ahead. Yes, Alex. Everything's good on the southern front. Especially now that it's only 68 degrees out. Wow, what a difference. I can take this. <laughs> you even got rain twice today. Let's see, uh, I, uh, this will be right up your alley. I had a, I have a um, laptop that somebody gave me about 12 years or maybe 14 years ago. Really nice laptop. Got all the bells and whistles. And, uh, but it was so slow, I hardly ever used it. I'd go two months and not even turn it on, except maybe to get the Microsoft updates. And uh, that took two hours. So it was pretty much useless. Yesterday... I decided to, oh, I even reformatted it and put Windows on again. It didn't make it any better speeded up. Well, yesterday I uh, installed Linux, Mint, the Cinnamon version, and, man, it's like I got a new laptop. I I, I was so excited yesterday I forgot about the, the net. <laughs> oh, boy. Man, I'm like a boy with a shiny silver dollar. With that, I'll turn it back over to net control. All right, that's very good. Well, I, you know, the, the key word there I heard in there was Microsoft. So uh, even reloading Microsoft, uh, uh, yeah, sometimes, uh, you know, the, uh, the uh, processors in a 10 or 12-year-old laptop is uh, is uh, the kind of an older generation processor. And uh, the problem with Microsoft is that they, uh, they use every bit of that processor uh, when they can, and if they can't, they have to emulate what they're trying to do with the new processors uh, on the old stuff. And anyway, it gets so uh, there's so much overhead in that uh, that uh, it's just uh, it's just crazy. And uh, if you look at the architecture of Linux, uh, there's none of that. Uh, uh, there's none of that. Uh, uh, um, uh, what's that? What's that called? I want to say a repository, but it's, that's not right. Uh, it's where they store all the information about all the apps and stuff. Uh, uh, Linux doesn't have that kind of thing, and it, it runs clean and smooth. And, uh, and if you're sitting there not doing anything, if you look at the uh, CPU, it'll be idle. They're just It'll say uh, 0 or 1 percent to use, and uh, that's pretty new and amazing. So, yeah, I'm going to stick with Linux, too. I've really enjoyed this. Uh, I've got Debian with uh, Cinnamon on it, and uh, uh, it is uh, working great for me. The uh, only uh, thing I've ever had a little problem with uh, so far has been the sound card. Uh, uh, kind of jumps around on me once in a while, but I think I've got that figured out now. So, Butch, you have a great day. Enjoy the new uh, uh, silver dollar there. KC5, JVT, K5, ABF. Do you have anything else, Butch? Go ahead. 
a negative echo. I just uh, knew that you got up your alley. Yeah, you told me about that. I thought it was it, but anyway, I think you got that straightened out. But yeah, I'm enjoying this new laptop. It does all I want to do, runs my programs. They even got, as you probably know, they got a program called uh, Wine that will run any Microsoft program. But yeah, it's doing all I want to do. This will be Casey 5 jvd Keep there. All right, Bishop. Uh, actually, that, that wine program, it does, uh, it'll run about uh, uh, 75% of the programs. Uh, I uh, won't uh, get all of them, but uh, uh, sometimes those programs will try to uh, grab a hold of a, of a uh, device, a video driver or something, and uh, uh, running it uh, under wine on Linux uh, uh, just doesn't like that kind of thing. But uh, otherwise, it works great. If you're just doing regular, uh, regular apps, uh, it works great. So, uh, yeah, enjoy that as well. I was going to try a, a 3D Builder under Wine, but uh, I doubt that it's going to work. <laughs> I don't have the application anyway. It's part, it comes as part of uh, Windows, so that's, a, that's the one uh, program that I miss a lot is the uh, uh, 3D Builder. All right, Butch, you take it easy. We'll talk to you later. Uh, yeah, check in and let me know uh, here in a few days how it's going. I'd like to uh, like to hear from you. Uh, KC5JBT, K5AVF, we're going to clear with Butch, we're going to go talk to Dave, and then we'll talk to Bobby. K8GB, go ahead. Good afternoon, I'm KGB, where it's uh, a little breezy today and in the 70s, so uh, yeah, I, I picked up a little on Linux here and there with my all-star nodes. Uh, Especially lately, when experimenting on the ASL uh, three, it just came out a few weeks ago, and to get this uh, Debian twelve uh, installation with uh, uh, ASL three on top of it. So uh, I haven't uh, interfaced to a node yet. I just I just uh, went into the thing and got it active, so I can at least experiment with it like a uh, a hub, and I also poke around and try some things and learn a little by little. You see uh, a lot of changes around in uh, ASL3, because I guess the original uh, asterisk is based on, it was like version one point something, and it's been frozen there for years uh, in terms of the all-star distribution. And now the new one's got the latest one, which is like, which is like asterisk 20. So it's got like, you know, 19 versions of, of uh, improvement for asterisk. Underneath the ASL, I'm proving from you know, two to three, and two is basically a beta. So, learning that a little bit. Also, reading here about how the sun has been going crazy. They, they were just saying yesterday we we're at our highest level for sunspots in 23 years, or you know, higher than it ever got in the last cycle, and pretty close to the peak of the cycle two or two cycles ago. So, as a matter of fact, we're going to forget today. It's uh, Sunspot number is 380 something. 380, you know. It used to be in the 200s is getting pretty high, and now it's pushing 400. So, but the thing is, we're having these solar flares, which are causing this D layer absorption too, which is causing R2 level blackout. So, that's why the bands still kind of suck during the day. Although they they've been pretty decent at night. We can see when the fall comes when the bands usually improve. Uh, when the absorption goes down, and hopefully it'll be a great year for DX this fall with the CQ worldwide and so forth. Let me reset here. As I was talking quite a bit just in one time out, I'm, I'm uh, pretty much uh, got it all out anyway. So interesting news there all the way around. Hope you're having a good day, uh, Alex. Back to you, and we'll catch up with you later from KGB. All right, very good, Dave. Yeah, that's uh, that's interesting. I was just looking. Uh, you mentioned that I'm running the six dot two on my uh, All Star node. Uh, uh, so yeah, I'm a little behind. But uh, you know, as long as it's running uh, nice and clean, I don't know. Uh, unless it's just absolutely uh, uh, an absolute need, I hate to uh, start upgrading those kind of things. <laughs> you get into all kinds of problems, and uh, you think uh, uh, it was working. Why did I miss with it anyway? Uh, Dave, yeah, uh, I can remember just a few years ago when we were happy to have uh, three or four sunspots, you know, and now it's up in the 
200, 300 spots. That's uh, pretty amazing. But, uh, yeah, the players tear it up. Uh, all right, Dave, we'll talk to you later. Do you have anything else? Go ahead. Yeah, I was also reading there's a Raspberry uh, uh, Pi uh, Pico 2 that just come out also. Fire processor and some other things, and they could charge you a whole five bucks. Hope you can afford it. All right. Yeah, that RISC, isn't that, that's a, uh, a uh, AMD processor, I think, isn't it? It's RP2350. They say it's the first time they've used this on a Raspberry Pi, so I'm waiting to see if the other raspberries, they might go to that later on. Oh, it's amazing how small and, and uh, inexpensive those things are getting, though. Although I haven't uh, bought a new Raspberry Pi in quite a while. Uh, last time I heard, I think, they, the Pi... Five was coming out, and it was going to be like 160 bucks or something. I don't remember, but that was back when there was a shortage. So uh, maybe that has straightened out. We have to get an update from Dave over in Wales about that uh, when he gets back on. All right, Dave, you have a great day. We'll talk to you again. I'll let you sign, then we'll clear. Uh, then we'll uh, go talk to Bobby. Uh, go ahead, Dave. Yeah, the shortage went pretty much went away here what six eight months ago. I I picked up a, another Raspberry Pi 3B. Uh, that's what my nodes are built on to have it. And that's what I'm experimenting with now, uh, just building the uh, uh, node onto it. My regular node that I'm talking on right now is still the uh, uh, what was running on before. I haven't changed it. I haven't put a live node on, on the air. I'm just using it for a cub. So uh, I'll see how it uh, goes. But, yeah, well, like I said, the 3B, I got it, and it was about 35 or 40 bucks, which is about the price they were going for before the shortage hit. So prices were pretty much back down to normal again, at least for the 3. I'm not sure what the 4 and now the 5 were going for. All right, anyway, back to you, KGB. All right, good deal, Dave. Thanks a lot. Yeah, that was, a, that was pretty good. Yeah, I was looking for one back when, and the gosh, it was... Uh, I don't remember what model it was, but it was expensive. Anyway, uh, thanks, Dave. We'll talk to you later. K-H-G-D, this is K-5-A-B-F. Let's talk to Bobby. Uh, K-J-5-C-L-V. Bobby, go ahead. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, thanks for these scrambling, whatever my call sign is. I had all kinds of trouble getting that out, so well, hopefully somebody got some laughs out of it. Anyway, I'm just sitting outside on, on the porch enjoying this little bit of rain and the cooler weather, and and uh, it's time to hop on and get on the list. So thanks for getting me on the list. All right, Bobby. Thanks. Uh, thanks for checking in with us. And yeah, that was uh, that was kind of funny. I got a, I got a uh, chuckle out of it. <laughs> and I, the, the reason I'm chuckling is because I've done that so many times. You don't know. <laughs> All right, Bobby. Uh, uh, thanks for checking in. I'll let you clear it, then we'll move on. Yeah, uh, like, like I used to tell, uh, when I used to drive buses and, and I'd get a trainee, I'd say, um, if a bus driver tells you they've not hit a curb, they're lying to you. So if somebody says they've not messed up their, their call sign, they're not telling the truth. Just laugh about it and go on. There's always the next time, so. Anyway, I'm going to get off here. It's KJ5CLV. Back to net control. 73 to everybody. All right, Bobby. Yeah, you got it right that time. Uh, thanks for checking in. We'll talk to you again. KJ5CLV. This is K5AVF. Uh, that was Bobby. We're going to clear with Bobby. And we're at the bottom of the list. This is the N5X TJ Memorial Quarter President. And if you'd like to check in, come back with the call. KA5, OWI Mobile, Dave, near Collinsville. Kilo, 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 Fox, Truck, Uniform, South Kilo.
probably one and had a couple of limbs down the next road, but at least I didn't have to come out of the tree and cut them out. But that's about it, Alan. And we're going to back over to you from the hot, hot, hot now in South Carolina. Uh, KK450. All right, Mike. Well, uh, hopefully, maybe some of this the weather that we're having will float uh, over to the east, and uh, you can pick up some of it because uh, it's a beautiful. Uh, well, it's 82 here, but uh, it's still pretty nice out here compared to what it's been. <laughs> and, and it's an overcast day and a uh, light wind, and uh, I'm showing zero on my anemometer, and I don't see any wind or uh, anything out there as far as the leaves blowing in the trees or anything like that. So it's a pretty nice day here, but uh, hopefully it'll float over there to you, Mike. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Have a great day. KK4SU, this is K5AVF. Let's talk to David. KQ4SVO. David, go ahead. Good afternoon. It's just been a crazy day here in North Carolina. Nice, no rain. Guys, 88 degrees. Feels like 91 with maybe a 58%, which is a lot better than what it has been. I'm just sitting here debating on if I want to really walk back to Dunkin' Donuts to get another frozen coffee because today they're triple the points and they're so good. Just trying to make that decision if I want to make that half a mile walk to and fro in the heat just to get another coffee. Yeah, uh, David, I tell you what, that sounds great. Uh, uh, I would make the walk if it were me. Uh, so there you go. Uh, David, uh, you have a great day, and uh, uh, yeah, enjoy that frozen coffee. Uh, go ahead. I do my best. Probably wind up taking my shoes back home, grabbing my portable, and start making a walk. And it's, it, traffic would just be a more easier to cross major roads, but it seems like nowadays it's one take. Karen, you know, not trying to run over, you know, people trying to cross roads, especially when you're, you know, visually impaired or whatnot. All right, David, well, you uh, uh, be careful out there and uh, stay safe. All right, we're going to clear with David KQ4SPO. This is K5ABF. Uh, that puts us at the bottom of the list. Uh, we're uh, about two minutes from the top of the hour, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a last call here for check-ins, and then we'll do the 73 round after that. So if there's anyone out there that would uh, like to check in before we do the 73 round, uh, come back with your call time. All right, nothing heard. I'm going to go ahead and start the 73 round. Uh, guys, you know how this goes. I'm going to call out the... Uh, uh, each call sign that has checked in on the second hour, and as I go through the list, I'm going to say 73 to you, and all I hope to hear is a 73 back, uh, if you're out there. Uh, it's not required, but uh, it's something I like to do at the end of the net uh, when I do the second hour. All right, we're going to start with uh, Mark, KCHFQV, 73, Mark. All right, nothing heard from Mark. Let's try Wade. W-D-8-M-I-U, 73. Nothing heard from Wade. All right, let's try the other Mark. Uh, K-E-8-S-F-S, 73. Well, maybe we lost Ohio. I, I don't see. Uh, I have. I, <laughs> I, I don't see him on the uh, on the dashboard. All right, uh, let's try Eddie. Uh, w three ETB seventy three. Wow, I'm batting a thousand. Uh, all right, let's try Jeff, a uh, local here. A E five M E seventy three.
Nothing heard from Jeff. Well, let's try Tim. K I five T A Q seventy three. Let me say 7-3 uh, to you, and that was uh, third-party traffic that's now, uh, well, shall we say, open it up. 7-3 <laughs> to you, Alex. All right, Tim. Yeah, I heard, the, I heard that third party out there. Uh, thanks, Tim. Uh, Donald, KI5WDM, 73. Kilo India 5, Whiskey Delta Mike. Seven threes, Alex. Have a great day. All right, Donald. Thanks. Uh, radio sounds great, by the way. Uh, again, KB seven DFP seventy three. Again, was in Idaho. May not be on the uh, call car anymore. Uh, Grant KD five AFS seventy three. Well, 7-3, everybody. KD-5 AFS. All right. Thank you, Grant. Uh, Jason, WY-7JT-73. Uh, 7-3, Alex and everybody. Uh, WY-7JT. All right, thank you, Jason. Uh, Gil, KD5 ENU, 73, if you're not napping. Seventy-three. KCF QB. All right, Mark, 73. Uh, Gil, let's try Gil again one more time. KD5 ENU, 73. All right, nothing heard from Gil. Uh, Butch, KC5JBT, 73. 73, everybody. KC5JBT, clear. All right, thank you, Butch. Uh, Dave, K8GB, 73. Seventy-three, Alex. Have a good weekend from K8GB. All right, you have a good weekend too, Dave. Uh, thanks. Uh, Bobby, KJ5, CLV, 73. All right, nothing heard from Bobby. Dave, KA5, OWI, 73, if you're still there. 73, Alex, just pulled into the driveway. Uh, 73, have a great week. K-5-O-W-I-M-O. All right, thank you, Dave. Uh, Dave, K-A-5-O-W-I-M-O, 73. Alex and everybody still on the net, and y'all have a wonderful weekend. Stay cool. This is KQ4 SVO. All right. Thank you, David. Uh, you have a great uh, day as well. All right. I want to say thanks to everyone that checked in today. It's been fun. Uh, uh, kind of a short bit. Uh, not short as far as uh, uh, time-wise, but uh, uh, we had 43 check-ins today, which it's not bad. Uh, uh, we'll take it for sure. And, uh, by the way, stick around, guys. We're coming up on 100,000 check-ins here uh, at the end of the month, sometime around the end of the month, and uh, that's going to be interesting. I don't know what's going on, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, 73, everyone. Uh, I'm going to secure the net, uh, and I'm going to say uh, uh, stay safe out there and uh, return the repeater to uh, uh, normal operations, whatever that may be. And uh, uh, 73, k 5 ads Yeah, my lasagna lunch was good. 
And that way I'm going to have leftovers. You can create leftovers from your earlier meal, KSFQV.